the Shadow Hunter fandom has reawakened. <laughs> What's happening, people? So we have some exciting news. Now, if you've read the Mortal Instrument books or have seen the film, you will know that the film franchise that they were going to make has kind of blocked because the first film I enjoyed it personally it wasn't very adapted to the book very much but I still loved it I loved the cast I loved the feel of it I loved the soundtrack most people didn't like the soundtrack I quite liked it I liked the storytelling I wish they put more of the fantasy side into it because I think they focused a bit more on like the sort of romance well I don't know anyway so um, since the film came out last year we have had no news about the new City of Ashes film the only news we've had is that the director from the first film um, has quit thanks Harold, or whatever your C name was, but I'm kind of glad that he quit because then we get a better director, someone who was more dedicated. Well, at least that's what we were hoping. And and then and then we got so there were some rumours that they were starting to that it was announced that it was kind of, it was going to happen. You know, they were going to start in December this year, and then but they were just rumours. They weren't like properly announced. All the cast have been asked and they said they would love to do City of Ashes. They were meant to start filming it because of the box office from the first film. It didn't work out and it was just so sad. But then, this week we got some news. It was exciting news. So are you ready? You've already seen the title of the video. But anyway, the Mortal Instruments book series is going to be made into a TV show. I am so excited. When I saw it, I was like, what is this real? And then I looked at all the articles. I read like 50 articles about this. And I was looking at it. I was like, it's actually happening. Cassandra Clare said it on her Twitter. So did the guy, one of the people. So did one of the people who are working with the film. And they decided to make it into a TV show. Now, this is a great opportunity to get the book right. Go into the book in more depth, but make it visual so everyone can see it like so everyone can see it be adapted into real life the only flaws that I can think of is that they're going to change the cast and I really love the cast in fact um, last week I got to meet well, I say meet I spoke to Lily Collins Yay! hi Lily we love you thank you so much oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you keep it and I was so happy because I was like, oh my god, it's Clary, I met Clary. Did you take my car? Lily, hi Lily. And then I also got to meet with um, Sam Clark. Oh we love you! But he's not in Hungry Games, but he was so hot. And I was like, yes, and now they're going to change the cast. It's kind of sad because we've all kind of connected with the cast. We feel like they were right for the part. Well, I did anyway. Apart from Jonathan Reese and I, he wasn't... He, he he had the feel of Valentine, but he didn't look, you know... You know what I mean? I also got to meet Jamie Campbell Bauer and... Oh. And having Robert Sheehan as my Simon, because Simon Lewis was my favourite character. I named my ukulele after Simon Lewis, and I've always been a massive fan of Robert Sheehan. And when I found out that he was going to be Simon Lewis, I was exhilarated. I was so happy. And he played him so well. He got such the nerdy feel, the nerdy, you know, sensitive side. And I thought Jemima West was brilliant. She was just such a kick-ass dizzy. And and Alec and um, Kevin Zegers, he's, I don't know about Kevin Zegers, I mean he looks like Alec, he had the, he was Alec, but I think he's a bit too old, he's nearly 30 now, and Alec's meant to be like 17, 18, I just think, you know, I thought, oh my god, Godfrey, whatever his name is, just, he looked like Magnus, but he didn't, 
I don't think he acted like Magnus, does that make sense? Another flaw would be that the money that's going to be put into it I don't think will be enough because in the books there's a lot of surrealism and you need CGI to do all that and I don't think, you know how in TV shows like Merlin and Supernatural the graphics and CGI aren't that great, like you can tell it's fake and that's the difference between TV shows and films, like you can tell how much money's been put into it and and the effort but it's still, I'm so excited and apparently, apparently that they want to start like making these shows in March 2015 and hopefully get it out by October 2015 and that's really soon but I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're actually going to do that but I'm still so excited I was so happy but I was still kind of mixed and I was like but I just want the cast but I'm so glad they're making it so people can you know share in our shadow hunter loveness that makes sense and oh I'm just so excited but I don't know what to think about it and it's ah I just wish they kept making the film but you know got better better directors, producers, screenwriters and that Cassandra Clare grabbed onto more of the rights to the books like you know how JK Rowling did I just wish that happened and it's just oh it's so sad but I'm still so excited and I can't wait to see how the finished product looks. Oh, the Shadow Hunters are coming to life. Let me know what you guys think of what they're going to do with the Mortal Instruments series. Do you like the idea of a TV show or do you think they should just, you know, leave it to be book series? <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!